Today we're talking to new signing Alexander Sammy, who uh, joined Altrincham uh, last week and made his uh, debut in the second half against uh, Manchester United under-23s on Saturday. First of all, uh, Alexander, welcome to uh, Altrincham uh, Football Club. And you're an interesting, uh, an interesting character because uh, you were you were born in in uh, Tehran in Iran. <laughs> That's correct. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, um, yes, I'm born in Iran, um, and I'm, um, I moved over here um, after when I was uh, 15 year old, uh, later to join my dad, um, and um, started football um, at Curzon Ashton, uh, where obviously that was my fa- first football club um, I played for. Um, and through the season, um, I've joined Bolton and further Kilmarnock, and then at the moment here myself uh, with uh, with Altrincham. And you played for Altring against Altrincham for Curzon Ashton back in September 2018. It was a a, a really good performance uh, by the Nash. They won two nil, and um, you had you had a very very good game. In fact, it was picked up by one of our commentators, uh, John Edwards, who is this guy? He's a really really good uh, <laughs> good player on the on the on the radio commentary and the TV commentary. Um, but uh, you had a very good game uh, that day and an assist for the first goal. Um, yes, I can remember that game uh, back of my mind right now. Um, we were going through transactions in uh, in that period of time with with Curzon, um, but when we came to Altrincham, um, we did very well and um, I played a good game. So I can remember that uh, definitely. Um, I provided an assist and uh, we won the game two 0 Obviously, not great results for you guys, but <laughs> I think uh, we had a good game that game. Yes. Yeah, we we got a bit of revenge later in the season. We won six nil at uh, at Curzon, but you'd, you'd you'd left by then and gone. You were at Bolton, and Bolton was an interesting time for for for, for you and and a bit of an opportunity. Um, yes, um, um, it was a great opportunity for myself and um, for my family, obviously, to to progress into a professional football um, environment. Um, I had uh, two seasons there, um, and then I progressed through the 16, 18, 24, uh, 21, and um, actually I made my debut uh, in the first team as well. Um, it was a good period of time. Um, it was uh, a good experience, um, learning through how the academy in the UK works, and also all the setup, um, how um, from the youth team to the first team stage, um, how the progression is. Um, I found myself um, in, in, in a good club, um, I would say a home club, um, which um, I'm really still thankful for the opportunity. And then you headed off uh, up north to uh, Scotland to Kilmarnock. Um, didn't work out so well there. Um, yes, um, to be honest, um, uh, it was the first away uh, club uh, from away from home club I've joined. And um, I was not ready yet, probably at that period of time. The differences in football, the English football and the Scottish football. Um, but um, after that, I had a little spell out, which I needed to um, kind of reflect about my journey in football and my career. Um, and slowly, slowly recovered, and oh, thankfully, I'm here today. <laughs> How would you describe yourself as a player? Um, humble, um, pocket rocket, that's what they're calling me at the moment. <laughs> um, full energetic, um, and um, creating chances as a player. So um, I like creating chances, I like um, playing fast, quick, and then attacking mainly. And certainly, um, you're you're a bit different. You're a, you're not your standard uh, type of player, and I think we saw that in in Saturday's game against uh, Manchester United. You you must have enjoyed that experience. Oh yeah, it was amazing being back on the pitch. Um, I hope the fans enjoyed that as well. Um, from coming on with uh, changing obviously um, the game with the second uh, second half. Um, Playing much better as a team. Um, obviously, being on the bench, it helped us a little bit to uh, understand the problem where it was, um, to try to minimise that and also to uh, stop the passing through the middle. That's what we're working at at the moment as well with the manager. Um, we reviewed also the video, the footage. Um, we're getting better and better and we're looking forward for the game on Saturday. And you're unusual in that uh, you've been in England uh, eight or nine years now. Um, but before you came to England, you didn't play football. Um, no, I didn't. Um, I was, uh, but you cannot say I didn't play football. I didn't play professionally. No, absolutely. Um, but the love of the game was always there. Playing um, the streets, um, um, playing with friends, or maybe just five a side. 
but it, it was always playing, but not playing professionally. I had no team. Um, I was not even thinking about football career at all until I arrived here. And uh, you've got uh, some good news, or you've had some good news uh, recently <laughs> uh, in terms of a big event for you uh, later. Um, yes, I'm going to become dad soon, so it's, it's an amazing feeling. I'm um, looking forward to it. And you're living in Manchester now? That is correct, yes. Um, that is something that is very uh, helpful for me as well at this period of time as I'm trying to get back to football and my family circumstances. Um, the decision obviously to join Altrincham was specifically um, as a pretty great environment, the manager of course, the team, the club, uh, going in the right direction, but it was specifically also for personal circumstances as I live in Manchester and it would be easier for me and help, helping me to progress in a better way by staying close to home. Well, congr congratulations uh, on your on your uh, good news, and that Thank you. takes us on to to you you moved to Altrincham. How how did that come about exactly? Um, so I had an opportunity to come here. Obviously, I spoke to a manager earlier stages before um, coming to training. Um, it wasn't easy. It was it was tough to obviously um, come here and also get a try. So I really appreciate for that. Um, it was one of my good friends, my ex-manager Martin, who got in touch with um, another person at the club and uh, got me the opportunity here. So I'm, I'm grateful for that and I'm um, really appreciate for making this happen, thanks to them. And I, I seen him last week and I really mentioned to him, he wouldn't be here, obviously, if, uh, if it wasn't for you. Um, but, um, but yeah, I had the opportunity there, I took it with both hands and I'm really, really grateful for, for this op um, option here. You've joined Altringham at a significant moment in the club's uh, history. We've just gone full time. We're, we're doing this interview at the, the terrific uh, new uh, training ground at Edgerton near uh, in Nutsford. And that's gone, that's gone really well, uh, the, 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 sort of the, the training aspect. Um, yes, I mean, the facility are, are amazing here. Um, I mean, the lads are enjoying it. Coming in full time, it's uh, um, a new push, I would say to our better standards, to our better level and a performance from the team and also a better reputation for the club as, as well. Um, I seen last year they did very well, specifically being part-time, so I believe this year is going to be a, a game-changer and hopefully going to be better than the last year. And I introduced you as Alexander Sammy, you have actually changed your name. That is correct, yes. It's, um, I made it shorter to make it easier for everybody. I mean, there was a little bit of confusion on Sammy Zade <laughs> that period of time, um, and pronunciation especially. Um, but Sammy, it's uh, shorter and the easiest way to call me, yeah. And it'll certainly be appreciated by Steve Foster, the kit man, when he's doing, doing the lettering on your shirt. <laughs> I think it's the shortest name on the team at the moment, from the longest. <laughs> Okay, so fi finally, uh, Alexander, what's uh, what, what are your hopes and aspirations for the season? Um, I set my goal. Uh, I set my goals before joining the club. Um, first of all, was to get fit and to be back in the game as um, quick as possible, um, with a uh, better understanding of the game. Um, so by joining here, it's um, it's a great opportunity to put um, whatever my goals were before to forward into a better teamwork, um, a good position on this year in terms of a league, um, providing assists, goals and uh, performing as the best I can um, and helping my teammates of course on uh, achieving the best we can together. That's the thoughts of uh, new signing Alexander Sammy who uh, came on in the second half and made a big impression on Saturday against Manchester United and looking forward to the start of the season against Maidstone United this Saturday at 3pm at the J. Davidson Stadium.